you'll, you'll know when it's time to change it. Uh, a, because especially on a SIG, if you've got the coiled yeah. spring, one of those little coils is going to start sticking out further than the other one. And that's when it's time to go. But also you'll know, because your slide just starts feeling kind of loose, squishy, you know. And what happens when that recoil spring starts to wear is when you fire that gun, it's going to allow that slide to unlock too quickly. And the casing of the bullet has not had enough time to contract from the walls of the chamber. And your extractor is just going to slip right off of it. It's going to leave the spent case in the chamber, and it's going to try and drive the next round right up into it. Now you've got a jam. And by being familiar with the cycle of operation with your gun, you're going to know what to do. Usually what I do when I'm shooting, I get a jam. I turn the gun upside down, and I start racking that slide. And I let gravity do the work for me. Anything that's in there is going to fall out. At the same time, you're still on your target, and you can fire if you have to. Uh, so, but uh, but loose, loose recoil springs can cause problems. Uh, also, when, when you're shooting, uh, because of the way the gun is designed mechanically, you know, most people think guns are these magic devices that they see on TV that just fire no matter what. Uh, one of the biggest things I saw, especially when I was working in Sandy Springs, when we had a bunch of, you know, doctors and lawyers coming in there with their $500 Italian loafers, uh, and they were buying these $4,000 1911s. And I would be back at my bench, and the owners would come running back. Josh, we got a guy up front, he's having a meltdown, you know. So I go up front, I paid $4,000 for this, and it jams every ground. So I'd say, okay, let's go shoot your gun. Because sometimes it is a, me a mechanical malfunction. It's rare. Uh, so I go out there with them, and what they're doing is they're limp resting the gun. And what that means is when you're, when you're firing a pistol, if you let your wrist break while you're shooting it, remember what I told you about that pistol having a cycle, right? The, uh, what happens is the pistols are based on what they call short recoil operation, <coughs> which means when you fire it, the case expands inside the chamber, grabs the chamber walls, and for every action, there's a reaction. So what happens is that barrel gets knocked back just a fraction of an inch, but it gets knocked back very hard. And that force is what cycles that slide and does all of those things, extraction, injection, recocking, chambering, everything. Well, if you let your wrist break and it doesn't get that full force, the gun is going to call to what called short stroking on. And it'll, it might go back far enough to extract that spent round, maybe even far enough to eject it, but it's not going to pick up the next round and cock the gun and drive it into battery. So it's always